PPC Building Dreams. Building it right, right from the start. This is already taking shape. Walls are completed and now slabs can be constructed in situ where support work is erected. Today I'm joined by Vincent who is going to educate us on the construction of in situ concrete slabs. Now we get in technical. <coughs> Hi Vince. Morning McGrady. How are you doing? Fine and yourself. Fine thanks. Yes. How does one construct in situ slabs? In situ slabs are constructed when support work is erected, as you can see behind us. We then have formwork which is placed on top of that, which keeps the concrete in form or in place. We then have rebar or your steel which is placed inside of that, and then followed by your services and such as electrical and, and plumbing services. This is then filled with concrete made by PPC Sherbold and it's in its permanent position. What are in situ concrete slabs used for? These in situ slabs can be used for a variety of different applications, which include suspended floors, flat roofs, ground floors. So there's many areas which it can be used in. With that being said, for this particular house, um, in situ slabs are used for the suspended flat roofs, um, as well as your suspended floors on your, on your first floor. From a technical aspect, how is this achieved? So basically what happens is the reinforcing is laid um, onto the formwork as per the professional engineer specifications. Once the formwork and the reinforcing has been inspected, the form is completely filled with concrete. Then the finishing and crewing process is undertaken. This concrete and reinforcing transfers the load onto the walls and the support work and thereafter to the foundations or the groundwork. The underside of in situ suspended slabs can be left as is or plastered to the required finish, or plasterboard ceiling sheets can be suspended and finished once the services have been installed. Alternatively, all services may be incorporated inside the concrete slab before concreting. This has to be coordinated by the contractor and the relevant service providers. Uh, Vince, can you explain the concept of using in situ slabs for roofing? So basically what happens is, once the roof slab has been cast and cured, a lightweight screed should be applied with the appropriate slopes to fall to channel the water to the gutters or the outlets. This ensures that the rainwater does not pool or build up on the roof structure, which could cause ponding and then essentially damages to the roof slab or the ceilings. The roof slab must be waterproof professionally to stop the water from penetrating through the roof slab. This has got to be signed off by the applicator and ensured a guarantee to prevent any water going through. Once the applicator has signed off this waterproofing, a layer of small pebbles or stones should be laid on top of the waterproofing. This is to protect the waterproofing from any of the elements, such as sun, hail or anything else that we can expect. Thank you very much. The use of slabs made with quality PPC cement combines strength with thermal mass and shows the versatility of concrete as embodied in quality slabs made with PPC cement. Remember, don't settle for an ah cement. Ask for the tried and tested one, the one as strong as an elephant. Ask for PPC cement.